A coldness that can only be hers. visions of hope, which melt like snow in the sun's light. Yet the pyre burner admires their strength of will. For their reverence, he grants unto them his flame, and the world of man flourishes. His benevolence warms the frozen heart of the frost bearer. The mortals have earned her respect, he, her love and admiration. It is not long, however, before some anonymous men ascend to new heights of that follow the war, while the six are still asleep. The pyre burner is sought by a man who draws him away from the light. His peril is sensed by the frost bear. She rushes to his aid, only to be filled by the foreign hordes. Those masses are now one with the darkness. Darkness that before long will swallow the six and the star they protect. The star's fate no longer rests in the hands of the shoulders of the chosen. Deliver this world from darkness and grant my love release. I promise I will. The Oracle is no longer of this world, but her thoughts remain, and they must be known. begins his existence on this star, the girl is met by the High Messenger. It is ordained that she will work with him to return the light. The girl reaffirms that promise. The High Messenger is moved by the girl's determination, her heart warmed by the girl's benevolence. Her faith in mankind is restored once more. Sister, cease this madness. That boy will never be king. Noctis is chosen. It is ordained. You of all people should know. I know that you are throwing your life away. That may be. But it 
It's my choice. If only... If only I could hear his voice once more. If we could laugh together as we did as children. If we could live out our days together as we once dreamed. Wherefore does the lady weep? Forgive me. I vowed to only cry where prying eyes cannot see the tears in mine. Yet others need not hide their grief. Is she so different from them? No. She is no different at all. She wants exactly what they do. To be with the one she loves. But want though she may. It is not to be. The lady's thoughts have been hurt. The love she bears the king shall never fade. And, in time, her feelings shall be known unto him. Gentiana. And if the words are not spoken from her lips, then the messenger shall see that they are heard. The god's favor and the lady's love shall be with him evermore. Thus it is promised between the Oracle and her familiar. I am undeserving of your kindness. Thank you. Restore the light unto this world. Farewell, dear Noctis. Luna, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I couldn't be there for you. Not even when you needed me most. There was so much you wanted to say. So much I wanted to say. And now, I never had the chance. I'm so sorry. you down. I know you won't. <laughs>